I've been talking to a lot of strangers. I've met a lot of people from a lot of different places that I wouldn't have met back in Michigan. Progress doesn't just happen. Movements don't just happen. But brave men and women and children committed to human rights and human dignity make change happen. Hearing all the different stories that people have dealt with, the stories of struggle, if you look at the one board here in the action alley, you find all these sticky notes of people just saying, you know, you can do it. If you do this and that, you can do it. And so that's, that's something that's very inspirational. I am so honored to facilitate this opening plenary, which is really the theme um, for many of us about the time that we are in right now. From moment to movement, we are in a movement, sisters and brothers, not just here in New York City, Ferguson, Oakland, Mexico, Brazil, Palestine, Hong Kong, we are all connected, our struggles are connected, our movements are connected, our power is connected. I thank Opal, Patrice, and Alicia so much for starting this movement because when we're talking about Black Lives Matter, we're not just talking about, you know, state-sanctioned violence against us in our communities in the traditional way that we look at, like police brutality and mass incarceration. We're talking about the way in which, you know, our very existence is challenged every single day. Amnesty International Conference is a, is a great hub for human rights activists from all over the United States and the world to come in and, and, and listen to how organizations like Amnesty can help the prisoners of conscience uh, that I attended. A very, it was a very good panel, very diverse, talks about what prisoners are facing in many parts of the world. If ever someone tells you that your activism does not work, just remember what we have told you today, all of us. That was, I think, one of the best panels that I've attended. It was, it's really, it was really informative. Art for Amnesty is great. I'm happy it's like relaunching. Even just the collaboration of today, I think that it's going to be really powerful for, you know, the artists that are already around and, and future artists as well. Where does art step in and make myth reality? And where does art step in and take reality and make it myth? There are lots of artists no one's ever heard of that are doing incredible things that are and actually you know, risking their lives in doing yes. things. How can you take people's attention away from the irrelevant and put it onto something where you truly have value and traction long-term sustainably? That's the power that art has, you know, like that everybody in that audience is now leaves the room feeling super fulfilled and uh, wants to do something. It's getting that action. Momentum going. Right now there's a um, phenomenon of grassroots activism all over the place and it seems to me that Amnesty is the perfect structure for all that energy to gravitate toward and more importantly for Amnesty to reach out to all that energy and say come home because as an activist I've felt more support in the last two days just being around all these people who are real activists than I have in the last five years of my own movement really. We must build a bridge that is strong enough and wide enough to carry us forward. We must build a bridge to our youth and give them the room to serve as leaders in this great institution. We must build a bridge that responds to the issues and the crises of our day, keeping us bold and relevant. That bridge that we build at Amnesty should be one that is sustainable, that gives passionate activists a home. We must build bridges that can carry a moment and turn it into a movement. And if you are willing to build that bridge with me, I ask you to please stand today. Who's gonna build that bridge with me? Join us. Join us for building a bridge to justice. Join us for building a bridge to freedom. Join us for building bridges for prisoners of conscience. Join us for building bridges to migrant families and asylum seekers around the world. Join us for building bridges 
for those whose voices have been repressed. And join us for building bridges for all that want to join us in this fight to protect people wherever freedom, justice, truth, and dignity are denied.